A day after what Vancouver police have described as two unprovoked stranger attacks, one that was fatal, the mayor is reiterating calls for other levels of government to do more to address violent crime. We have done pretty much all we can at the city of Vancouver given what, like, what our core responsibilities are. The attacks happened a little after 7.30 Wednesday morning. The first, near Richards and Dunsmuir Streets, left a man with a severed hand. The second, several minutes later, near Queen Elizabeth Theatre, left another man dead. A suspect was arrested about an hour and a half later near Olympic Village. 34-year-old Brendan Colin McBride has been charged with aggravated assault and murder. Police have said the White Rock man was on probation for a 2023 assault and had more than 60 previous police interactions. The root cause of a lot of these challenges are not policing issues, they're health care issues, they're support services, they're housing, none of which are under the jurisdiction of the city. On Thursday, these flowers were laid where the fatal attack happened. The man who left them says he didn't know the victim but lives in the area and feels sad about what happened. This man shouldn't have had his life just taken away and forgotten. So this is the smallest gesture I can give him uh, to hopefully give him some voice. He says while incidents like this don't make him afraid, they do make him angry and frustrated. Hardworking, innocent uh, members of society have to actually deal with this type of stuff. They can't live their lives fully. And I think that's a, that's a shame. I want to see Riverview open, reopened. Uh, I want to see harsher penalties. Riverview Psychiatric Hospital in Coquitlam closed in 2012, more than 20 years after the B.C. government at the time decided to shut it down amidst a shift in mental health practices. Ken Sim says he agrees with calls to open a newer version of the hospital. I know how we, we got here, um, and it was a great theoretical exercise, and it may still work, but it hasn't worked to date. And so how long are we going to follow a model that isn't working? Despite the concerns prompted by the attacks, the police chief has said overall crime in the city is down this year compared to last year. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.